Hey everybody, Joe here, again with another review for Canada at the Movies, this time for the season finale, that's episode 6 of Obi-Wan Kenobi, which is a Disney Plus uh, special starring Hayden Christensen, Ewan McGregor, and Moses Ingram. Now this will be a full spoiler review um, starting now. Alright, so we have uh taken it to back to tatooine um where reva is on the planet looking for owen and his family in order to gain revenge on what darth vader did to her not only in the last episode but also as a youngling so um she is on uh tatooine and is uh ends up you know uh, you know, searching for Luke. Now, we on the next scene, what we end up seeing is Obi Wan uh, on a ship, as well as with Leia and the rest of the people from the path. I'm telling you, this episode was so amazing. I mean, the parallels that you see from all of the different movies and television shows that have come before. It is insane. There are far too many Easter eggs for me to cover on here um, and, you know, have this done in a timely fashion. So um, if you would like to talk more about that, let's talk more about that in the um, in the uh, comments below. Now, uh, the I can just say this, that the fight between Obi-Wan and uh, Darth Vader um, because, of course, Obi-Wan sacrificed himself in order for the rest of uh, the path, the pit folks on the path to escape. Um, that fight was amazing. The fact that Obi-Wan ended up actually being buried alive um, and, uh, you, you know, was able to tap into the force even further. And, I mean, in this case, I can say Obi-Wan was not as powerful as Vader, but because of his experience and his age and his uh, patience, um, his ability to um, also more of like a defensive style of um, fighting, he was able to best Darth Vader. And I mean, if he really wanted to, he could have killed Anakin. Now, I believe, of course, that he had uh, a new hope, you know, and... Uh, and Leia as well as Luke. Um, so he didn't want to kill Vader. He thought that somehow um, his his Padawan, his former Padawan learner, his former Jedi friend would be able to come back to the light side and create balance in the force. So, which of course, you know, ends up happening. Now on, uh, back on Tatooine, uh, there is uh, a fight between Owen and Reva uh, as well as his wife um, to I think Reva was really trying to kidnap Luke um, not only kidnap but maybe even kill but at the end of the day Reva ended up going back to the light side of the force um, I think because she saw herself going down the same path as Vader she could not see herself killing a youngling no matter whose son it was you know what i mean uh no matter whose son it was uh no matter whose daughter it was the fact that um she saw herself not she saw echoes of darth vader in herself caused her to pause to the point where she stopped carried luke back to uh his family and dropped to her knees and um, honestly, you know, this is just my summation. I believe that uh, Reva is a good character. Um, and uh, I have uh, thought that perhaps she might end up being the Harriet Tubman of the series, uh, or at least of this era, um, freeing more Jedi and um, working closer with uh, people in that, you know, direction. Now, uh, you know, again, there's so many Easter eggs in here. The fact that Obi-Wan met Luke and said, hello there, uh, <laughs> that actually really um, uh, uh, gave me a, a, a lot of joy. 
and um, Qui-Gon Jinn actually shows up in this as well at the very end as a force ghost. So I'm believing at this point, this is when um, Obi-Wan Kenobi, hashtag old Ben, ends up uh, learning how to become a force, force ghost and um, whatnot. Now, overall, I can uh, say that this series as a whole was a wonderful showing of um, of, of a Star Wars show. Um, I believe that, uh, you know, as far as my rating, my grade for the overall series, I would give it a B plus. And the reason why is because some of the, the writing was a little weak. Um, I believe, you know, that this show was about to be about Obi-Wan. It is named after Obi-Wan, but it was also about Reva. And the fact that we only had six episodes means that we didn't get enough of either or of them. Um, so I believe that if they had extended it, maybe a couple more episodes, then, um, you know, we would have seen far more of what we wanted to see. Um, and the fact that this show actually leaves me wanting more, I can't wait till the next season or whatever is next coming down the pipeline in Star Wars shows that, uh, you know, these shows are actually working and are working out well. Um, but I don't know about the six episode um, formula that they've been having, uh, you know, because some of the episodes ended up falling a little short um, and being a little shorter than others. Uh, so I'm, I don't know if they extended it, if it would have been better, but I'm not saying that it was bad. I'm just saying that it, you know, deserves a B plus due to some of those things. There were certain things that happened in the series that didn't make um, a lot of sense. I think things happened because the story needed it to happen. Like I'll say O'Shea Jackson's, um, O'Shea Jackson's character, um, all of a sudden going from, no, I'm not going to help to gung ho and ready to help and lead, um, within a matter of minutes didn't make a lot of sense to me. Um, you know, they, uh, they just needed to go into deeper depth, in my opinion. But if whether you all uh, dis agree or disagree, I still want to know down in the comments below. Um, please click that like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell so that you can get all of our content. Thank you all for following, subscribing. And uh, if you made it this far, we love you. And you all have a great rest of your day. Bye.